Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dave, and we're the IB English Guys. Today we're gonna to talk about the paper one pitfalls, the things to avoid when you're writing your paper one. This is for literature and for language and literature. Folks, don't confuse this with another video we have, the top 10 tips, where we give you 10 things you should do. These are 10 things, 10 pitfalls to avoid. One to 10. That's Mr. Right. Giles, let's make this short and sweet. Start us off. Okay, the first pitfall is to ignore the guiding question. We have to remember that a guide. this is a guided analysis, a guided literary analysis or a guided analysis. The IB is guiding you with a question. We need to make sure we read that carefully, we unpack that question, and we use it to focus our paper. Number two, the second pitfall to avoid is writing too soon without a plan. Mr. Giles, I can't tell you how many times I see students read the paper and just start writing. And I think this is a critical mistake. You need, this is a reading test first. You need time to read, you need time to think, you need time to annotate. Without taking this critical step, you will write a shallow analysis. Don't do that. That's great, that's strong. I'm, okay. an, I'm angry. Okay. He is. The next pitfall is super long body paragraphs. We have to remember, we have a reader on the other end of this. And if we write super long two page body paragraphs, our reader is going to get lost in our ideas and we're really going to lose our focus. So we have to make sure that we're thinking about our paragraph length and make our paragraphs manageable to read and really understandable with a clear topic. Yeah. Another pitfall to avoid is misreading an essential element or the text type. Ladies and gentlemen, the IB will always give you footnotes with critical information regarding text type, vocabulary, context, or any other key aspects that you need to successfully answer the question. Don't be so eager that you don't read those footnotes. There's critical information in there. Read the footnotes. Yeah, it reminds me of pesto. You forgot you you, you missed a sentence. Yeah, I wrote almost, text. yeah, it's terrible. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the next pitfall we want to avoid is to just summarize the text. I think there's a tendency sometimes for students just to summarize what they've read. This is a danger. And we wanna make sure that we're not just summarizing what the text says, but we're analyzing and interpreting the text. Yeah, summary is very low level thinking. We want much richer thinking, which is analysis. Another pitfall to avoid is the fire hose technique. Mr. Giles, can you explain the fire hose technique? The fire hose is where we are just spraying the paper with so many techniques and we're listing as many techniques and we're thinking that we're just gonna somehow aim that at, at, at the paper and it's going to do well. And I think that's really dangerous. We want to make sure we are using the literary features and unpacking them and using them for our interpretation. Yeah, sorry, Mr. Joss, why don't you take one more? Talk to us about why our students need to avoid the long, fluffy introduction. Yeah, the, that, that's a pitfall to avoid. It's like a long, fluffy introduction is an introduction that has a lot of general discussion about a topic without getting into the text. Yes, we like to have an interesting sort of creative hook to our paper, but we want to remember that this, the job is textual analysis. We need to get into the text and show an understanding of the text. Yeah, another pitfall to avoid with respect to paper one is ignoring the context or the audience. Mm. Students, teachers, remember each of these texts is written in a specific time period and a specific place with a specific target audience in mind. We need to keep that in mind while we're writing our paper, otherwise we may misinterpret or provide analysis that is incorrect. Remember the context in the audience. Yeah, that's good. I mean, we don't want to dedicate an entire paragraph to context or audience. But we want to weave that into our writing and just be, be mindful of that. That's important. The ninth pitfall we want to avoid is to skip the conclusion or not get to the conclusion. This is really dangerous because this is a sign that you didn't plan your time well. And if you don't get to your conclusion, you haven't finished your paper properly. And this is again, part of your organization. So we wanna make sure we end our paper, we go back to those big ideas, and we try to end our paper with a flourish. Yeah, again, that goes back to your planning. Keep your eye on the time as well. When you have about five minutes left, if you need to get to that conclusion. Okay, the last pitfall to avoid is ignoring penmanship. Folks, examiners have a lot of papers to read. Uh, you read many papers. When we can't read the text or the, the words that the student has written, we cannot award points. It's very off-putting, creates a terrible impression from your paper, and it's actually really difficult to score. Yeah, I have terrible penmanship, so I have to really think about that. I have to slow down, I have to make sure that my, my, my words are, are legible. So we have to just think about that because penmanship, you're not scored on your penmanship, but the reader has to be able to read your words and decipher them. 
So just be just careful and be slow mindful. Slow down a little bit. We know you're writing quickly, but you have to slow down just a bit to make sure that it is legible. And folks, with that, those are 10 pitfalls to avoid. We hope those are helpful for you. Again, remember this video has a companion video called Top 10 Paper One Tips, where we tell you 10 things you should do. These are the 10 things you don't want to do. Uh, we hope this video provides value for you. We hope you find it enjoyable and we hope this brings you more Paper One success. Let us know what you want to hear about in the comments. We will make videos for you. We want to guide you to IB success in English. Thanks for watching and have a great day.